Roswell Flight Test Crew back at CES 2017 and we're talking with our friend Dave Sliwa who's with Genius Idea and you've got this Genius Idea for a little quad. What do you got going on here? Oh, this is a great little device. It weighs 270 grams so it's super light. It's fully flexible. You can twist it around so you know it's not going to be breakable. Even the blades themselves are flexible. You can change the covers off. It comes with multiple colors, so you can have different colors. It has a 4K camera. It's got ultrasonic sensors here on the front as well as on the bottom. Main camera is a fixed camera, but is movable prior to flight. It has a 170 degree field of view, a 60 degree field of view on the bottom. And that bottom camera is used for position hold. Yes, absolutely, and also ground sensing. You can actually launch it from your hand. It uses the Snapdragon chipset from Qualcomm. It can do auto orbits, waypoint navigation, can fly indoors or outdoors, facial recognition, auto follow, all the things that you've come to expect from more expensive drones. This one has an MSRP of $400. That's a really great price. Now what about batteries? Because that's often the Achilles heels, because with any platform, because they're expensive, they're hard to find, either they're customary. Absolutely, I'm glad you asked about that. Because the batteries on this are very inexpensive, standardized lithium battery sets that basically are about $3 each from Amazon. You can buy them and recharge them and have them standing by and just slap them right in. Also, very key, drone of this weight category, 20 minute endurance. Really? Yes about twice what you'd expect for one of the, the small tabletop drones like this. Absolutely. And the flexibility is just so, so impressive. Yeah. I mean, that's far better than trying to be strong and survive the impact. Just roll with the punches. It could fall off the roof of your house and you'd never know it. Okay, David, so we're watching on the uh, screen now of the phone, and I am seeing some latency and some stuttering in the video, but I'm guessing that's because we are being bathed in 2.4 gigahertz interference right now. Is that what's going on? I think there's so much 2.4 interference here, I think that the water in my pocket is actually warming up. I can't imagine more microwave energy in a room than we have here at CES. So that's not, not indicative of the performance we're likely to see out in the field. Absolutely. It's a 4K streams live to Facebook or anywhere else online that takes it and uh, just phenomenally clear video. When's it going to be available and where is it going to be available? We just did our first production runs uh, this week. It'll go into full production within the next month. You'll probably see it on Amazon and coming out through major distributors within the next 90 days. All right. So three months from CES. Well, we'll certainly be watching for it. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Patrick. All yeah. right. And from CES 2017, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks again, Dave.